Okay, welcome to a new episode of Resolute Fitness. It is Friday evening here um, on the back of a very eventful week for, for everybody involved in the CrossFit community. So I just wanted to do a little video today um, after sort of Ben Bergeron's uh, town hall meeting that he did yesterday. Uh, I'm going to just quickly talk about that and then obviously he, he went live today on his, on his Instagram and then um, the podcast, the podcast, Andy Stump. If you haven't, if you haven't listened to that one, uh, I think that came out today. Morning Chalk Up have posted posted it as well. Um, so I've listened to that, listened to Ben Bergeron, and really, really quite interesting stuff, really. Uh, let's start with yesterday. Yesterday, uh, Rich Frown in, uh, Chris Spieler. Annie Sakamoto and a few others, Ben Bergeron, uh, Sherwood, Patrick Sherwood, all came together and did a town hall meeting. Today it came, it came out that uh, Ben Bergeron, it didn't go the way he, he wanted, he was caught a little bit shorter. But basically the, the census of that was Rich Fronin's obviously disaffiliated, Chris Spieler's disaffiliated. And uh, so just to round up the meeting, like I said, you can find you can find all the information and then the specifics on online. Morning Chalk Up have done sort of like a brief little quotes, but Rich Froning, Chris Spieler, um, all sort of echoing the same thing. Disappointment, disappointment with um, CrossFit Inc. Disappointment with Greg Glassman. So they've disaffiliated. Uh, ben Bergeron's done the same thing, and. Patrick Sherwood extremely disappointed as is Annie Sakamoto so they've distanced themselves from CrossFit but they're hoping that sort of CrossFit can make amends but for that to happen they need Greg Glassman to uh, re get rid of his shares basically get rid of um, ownership so yeah watch this space on that they both uh, they all sort of said the same thing about there needs to be a little bit of time for this this process to happen Rich Fronin about programming the, the CrossFit Games in the future. Oh. Rich, Fronin, uh, Rich Fronin commented on, on programming the Games in the future and said that was the first time he heard of it from Dave Castro even though he was honoured to be, to be offered this sort of position. Um, but at this time there's more pressing matters which uh, fair play to Rich thrown in on that and then let's move into today Instagram live Ben Bergeron he was in the gym and he was doing a live Instagram TV he said he was happy he was glad that he could do it after sort of the disappointment he had yesterday with um, the town hall meeting it not being what he wanted so he was he was answering a lot of questions now, what was interesting, and I think he did a, an excellent job with this, and if you get a chance to, to watch the video, if you've not seen it, it's on his Instagram um, Instagram account, Instagram TV. Uh, about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And he sort of, he, he explained it really well. He was saying how how he got into CrossFit because he liked the 21-15-9 setup. He enjoyed the thrusters and the methodology and everything. And what he, what he liked about it was that people from sort of all backgrounds or different political views could come together and they were kind of judged on on the effort they put in in the gym and you could kind of get lost when you sort of halfway through a 21 15 9 workout um, and forget your problems which which is why i fell in love with it in the first place now what he said he's recently learned is that crossfit headquarters or CrossFit Inc didn't share the same the same sort of um, morals and thinking that that he did so this is one of the reasons why he's why he's distanced himself with that and he explains it quite well in, in the video um, much better job than, than than I could do so yeah have a look at that then the last point he goes okay and then on to my last point he, um, he somebody commented sent a message in about Andy Stump's podcast which went up today uh, <laughs> so I had to listen to it Ben Bergeron didn't want to comment until he sort of digested digested the podcast himself 
um, and now watching it I kind of understand what he's saying so there's there's quite if you don't know much about him he's ex sort of ex military and worked for head uh, CrossFit headquarters on in a few different positions um, what what he discusses in in the uh, podcast is um, basically what he's saying as sexual harassment in in the workplace um, with Greg Glassman. Now, um, this is what he's saying. Uh, we don't know if this is true or not, and it's an interesting podcast. So, um, again, it's probably similar to to Ben. Bergeron on this like it takes some time to 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 process really because it's it's the first time I've heard about it um, and it'll be interesting to see who who comes forward but basically he says about how uh, the people that were closest to Greg Glassman um, were, were also around this um, and then it leaves it leaves the podcast on a on a, a big statement to be fair so it's going to be interesting. He thinks there's going to be legal action from CrossFit on him personally. Um, and he's offered a sort of a Q&A between, between the two, between CrossFit and him with a neutral person in between filming it. So, yeah, watch this space. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Little roundup, Friday evening here. Um, I'm going to go and eat my Thai because I'm, I'm hungry. Um, I'm going to try and get past these birds as well. All right, thanks for watching. If you could like, subscribe, much appreciated. Bye, -bye. bye. Okay, I've literally uh, just walked sort of 100, 100 yards and just found out that um, quite a few of sort of Ben Bergeron's athletes are out of the CrossFit Games. Katrin's out and, and Brooke Wells and I think there's there's a couple more as well. So yeah, it's, it's certainly been an eventful week. Um, right, I'm definitely going to go and get my, my food now, but I, I don't know. It's the Road Games tomorrow, I'm going to look forward, I'm going to watch that. Um, but I, at this point, I don't see how the CrossFit Games are gonna are gonna go ahead. To be honest, so I may stand corrected, but we'll see. Right again, thanks for watching.